А мы в прямом эфире. Um, hello everyone, Olga Show. We are live on air, and we have other guests uh, came to our show as well. So happened to be we talking about how to help our society to be in the better world, not just tomorrow, but starting now. And we have Elina with Sunny Karma, which is um, looking for funds for a good cause. And she actually, one of the women of the year, trying to fight uh, against cancer and helping leukemia and lymphoma society. Hello, Elina and Olga, your helper here today and volunteer. I know you all doing it volunteer uh, basis. So please uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you were born. I know you all speak Russian, so, and I also speak Russian. I was born in Russia. What about you? Um, hi, my name is Elena Alec, and I'm the founder and CEO at Sunny Karma. And um, I was originally uh, born in Siberia, grew up there, and moved to the United States in 2000. I went to um, university here, San Jose State, and I started my career in finance as a CPA at a, one of the big four uh, professional services firms. And about a year ago, I started um, Sunny Karma. Only a year ago, wow, it looks like I saw you s in so many places already with your company that I thought that I know you for far longer than one year, that's for sure. Okay, now why did you start um, Sunny Karma? Um, basically, when I was um, in a very for-profit world uh, for the first part of my uh, career after school, but I also had a chance to um, be on the board of directors at a local nonprofit. It's a community health clinic called Mayview. And uh, while being there, I kind of realized that a lot of nonprofits uh, don't have much of um, you know access to technology or business savvy. They're not um, you know using social media um, as much as you know for-profit businesses do. So I did see the opportunity to kind of uh, bridge the gap between the for-profit business and the non-profit world. And uh, this is kind of like where the inspiration came from originally. But uh, your company trying to help non-profit organization and how they get rewarded, the people get rewarded for their donations, right? And that's the uh, old idea at your company? Um, yeah, so basically we, um, we um, accept uh, contributions, charitable contributions for good causes, and we, uh, in return, um, convert them to karma points. And that's kind of like our internal virtual currency that people can use to uh, bid on charity auctions and win some charity prizes. And I'd like to introduce Olga, actually, because uh, she has joined our company recently. And um, I just wanted to um, kind of see what Sunny Karma means to her and why, why did she join our team as well. We're oh. very happy to have her. Hi everyone, um, let me step, take a step back and tell you who, y who I am. Uh, I'm Olga Mag, I am, I'm a friend, a supporter, a believer, and um, what I do for a living, I'm, an, I'm a lawyer. Um, so this is very much different to um, what Sunny Karma does day to day. Um, I uh, met Alina at one of the conferences and heard her speak and frankly got inspired. Um, and the reason I got inspired is because I heard somebody essentially embrace the 21st century, embrace the technology, and look at nonprofits from a different point of view and help them move forward and deal with their problems in a completely different way. And so that's what it means to me. It means to me embracing the 21st century and solving the 21st century problems with first 21st century tools. And um, how, where you were born? So I was born in Ukraine, uh, a very provincial town. I'm a provincial gir girl by roots. I grew up in Siberia. I came to United States when I was 13. So, hence. And I know that you're also going to stay for Russian part of our program. Then we're going to practice and check your Russian skills. And <laughs> if you still um, can speak Russian language, and I know you can, that we also have a leisure to have um, good time at Russian program, which we will have in about half an hour or so. Now, when uh, you go to the school here, did you think of becoming a volunteer for any of the companies? So, 
I, I think of voluntarism, uh, dona donating charity, as a virtue that can be learned. There needs to be a culture, and I definitely, I, I, I've been in the United States since I was 13, and that's something I learned growing up. So for me, uh, every step of my career development and every step of my uh, personal development, uh, I've been on the boards, I've been a general counsel of a nonprofit. Uh, that has been an instrumental part of my personal growth, and, and that's the reason when I heard Alina speak about Sani Karma, that very much resonated to me that uh, there is a for-profit company that actually does good in the world and help the nonprofit to deal with problems in a way that makes sense. All right, and um, now being an attorney, do you work somewhere already? Is it your own business or you work for somebody else? I do work for somebody else. I'm a startup lawyer. Um, I, I work at a, 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 a Zusk, the dating company. This is what I do for recreation. This is how I have fun. Uh, being an informal advisor to Alina, trying to make sure that she goes forward and everything good happens to her. Now, having fun, that's interesting to say. That it's not like you party all the time, you're going, uh, Alina bootstrapping herself. Um, you hardly have um, money to go on cruises and travel everywhere. I mean, you don't do any of that. So how, why did you make a decision to join? I mean, what's fun about it? I think for me, the fun is making the world a better place at the end of the day. And I think that's the same for Alina. Alina, I mean, that, that's a really good question for you. I, you started it knowing that it would be hard and you're still doing it. And every day you get up in the morning and you continue doing it. And what, what makes you get up in the morning? Um, right, this is actually, I get this, this question a lot because I did have a successful CPA career as a you know, finance professional, which is you know, a ni nice paying job. And people ask me like, why did you decide to kind of drop that kind of security and then you know, go into this wild world of startups and take that risk and take that plunge, especially with my own money. And um, I mean, for me, it's just kind of, uh, when I was a CPA, I actually um, started doing it for the love of travel. I wanted to travel, so I wanted a profession that can allow me to do that, and I did that, but then something else was missing. So I realized that um, I need to find some other, I, I was missing the passion. And when um, the opportunity came, I, um, I created this company, and every day is just so much different than the world where I came from, um, from on the business side, which is, you know, you create something new, you're in uncharted waters, you don't know what any, any new day is gonna bring, but you get so much encouragement from people. I there's no day goes by where I don't get um, people tell me, call me, and email me saying uh, they get inspired by what we try to do. What we do really actually really does matter. Um, so that just kind of uh, make, makes the whole sense to me. Now, why the lymphoma leukemia and lymphoma society and new project for you? This is another big project you took over this year. So, and how you can see you can help them and why you do that. Right, actually when I launched last year, it was actually right during the uh, a campaign that Lymphoma Leukemia Society does every year. It's called Men and Women of the Year. Uh, they do it nationally, um, annually, every spring. They have about 60 chapters in the US. They nominate five to 10 people in each chapter that are active in the community uh, to um, run the 10 week of fundraising and then whoever raises the most funds uh, wins the title Man with the Year, Woman of the Year, and it's done in uh, honor of local children who are cancer survivors, boy and girl of the year. Um, so my first um, nonprofit that I was supporting was Lymphoma Leukemia Society, and my first users on the platform were the candidates from last year. And uh, this year we kind of came the full circle and uh, we decided to open up our platform to our competition. Olga, what do you think about <laughs> that crazy move? I think it's, it's not a crazy move. I think thinking we... we tend to think of our competition as something other. Competition, especially when you're trying to make the world a better place, is your collaborator. And I think using technology to collaborate with your competition, because at the end of the day, the only competition we have is cancer. That's the only thing that we're trying to defeat. And so if that's the focus, then collaboration makes sense. Exactly. And. Uh you know, for us, the goal is and we'll consider this campaign successful if um, if we beat the cancer at the end of the day, and no matter who wins the the title. 
Yeah, I know that uh, cancer doesn't choose race, doesn't choose age, doesn't choose um, gender, country, it just uh, can affect anyone. And I know that I lost my son, unfortunately, at 10 years old, who died from leukemia. He had Philadelphia chromosome and um, coming to America, hoping for the better place. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my son in the fight, and I'm totally supporting Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and thank you guys that you are doing great work and joining our forces, because together we can make it, and if not for my son, but I know in memory of my son, Sandy Karma right now um, opened the site where people can help and we can build um, headstone, where in forms of heart we can show our appreciation has happened all too fast and um, he loved Russian culture and loved me being on the radio as he passed recently and then um, of course if anybody wants to help go to Sunny Karma and you will find the page Help Misha and also please help to our Woman of the Year Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Elena also you can find through Sunny Karma. Thank you guys for doing such a great work. So I'm with you all the way supporting you and I know a lot of people supporting you already. What events coming up so people can join you? Uh, right now we actually are uh, putting most of our effort online because um, I mean this is actually what our where we where we most strong at and um, we do have um, a cost page right now for our women, Men Women of the Year campaign. So you can go on www.sanikarma.com and you will see um, the information about the lymphoma leukemia uh, campaign. And you can, uh, basically anyone can help. You can contribute um, any amount and uh, that amount will uh, turn into karma points and you can actually get rewards with this karma points. You can bid on auctions, there's amazing auction items that other people create and put out there in organizations. So, you know, you actually doing good while you're getting something in return. So this is kind of like our premise is to make fundraising rewarding for everyone. Um, so how about we can also reward those who donate lots of money, I guess, and being helpful to you. Um, we can put maybe our points, karma points, so that we can actually make them famous through our radio and internet programming, maybe even TV. It all depends. We do have TV program. It's kind of costly, but we have more sponsors right now for radio program. And we, of course, will use social media for that as well. So maybe we can think of something of karma points with Olga's show or on Olga's show. So think of that. And um, it would be easy for people just to go to sunnykarma.com, right? Correct. And then look for causes, and it would be men and women of the year, or any other causes you want to check and donate. After the donation, they're gonna get karma points. So it's, how does that work? One dollar per yeah, karma exactly. point? Yeah, exactly. One dollar is one karma point. And then you can be rewarded with some flights on the private airplane? Uh, we do have some auctions that uh, we run once in a while where you can uh, win a flight on a private plane over uh, Bay Area and you can land uh, in um, Huffman Bay for lunch and dinner. So we do have a, a member of our community who donates that kind of an auction. He's a pilot, has a pilot license, so he donates that auction once in a while. It's one of our favorites usually. And then you have some private sessions with venture capitalists? Yes, we do have some VCs who do offer uh, mentorship sessions on our platform, and um, we actually have one uh, currently set up uh, by Bill Reichert, who is actually an advisor to Sunny Karma. He is the managing director at Garage Technology Ventures, and we had an event a couple of days ago, and he um, he did uh, um, offer two hours of mentoring of two entrepreneurs for uh, to raise funds for his son's school. So yeah, you can definitely go online and find it. It's a, it's a current auction right now, so you can take uh, get a chance to meet him one on one. I know it's very difficult to get one on one meeting with venture capitalists, and here at least you have one venture capitalist who offers that. Yes. Because uh, he is also doing a lot of good things, built yes. himself. Yes. I see him quite often. And we do have phone call here, so let's uh, answer that phone call for that to take you 